ओम सदाशिव सरंभां शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा यदिद्यालास भूत भौतिकसृष्टया तम नौमी परमात्मा सचिदानंद विग्रह सो वी आर् कमिंग टू द फैग एंड ऑफ non apprehension okay five chapters after this chapter is over uh, let me see yeah mostly after the fifth chapter yeah okay now the next topic will be anyonya bhava yeah anyonya bhava actually is being exclusive though they put it as a bhava it would be called as being exclusive that he says is twofold so let us see what he is talking about Swamiji? yeah sorry to interrupt but could i please ask one clarification sure sure the... please do yeah swami ji i just wanted to make sure i am understanding this correctly but when it comes to adhyasa yeah adhyasa has to strictly be a superimposition is that correct i can't take yes. two reading from each yeah. other for it adhyasa yeah yes okay yeah so that means it anirvachanya khyati strictly is for adhyasa yeah yeah though sometimes we take anyata khyati also as a form of adhyasa okay because you're mistaking one thing for the other anyway yeah correct yeah. correct that way yeah okay okay so not every form of mistake yeah is there is no adhyasa. production of something every time yeah okay got it yeah ओके दे फोर नाउ ई सीज पुनरपी भेद द्विद द भेद विच भेद इज वन थिंग बींग डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम दि अदर भेद सोपाधि निरुपाधि विथ उपाधि और विदउट उपाधि मीनिंग विथ सम रीजन हैविंग बींग देर और विदउट इट हाउ डू यू से दैट हियर तत्र उपाधि सत्ता व्याप्य सत्ता कत्व सोपाधि कत्व where the bheda is dependent upon the upadi that is called soopadikatva tat shunyam nirupadikatva when that bheda does not depend upon something else then that is called nirupadikam so a little bit when you say soopadikam nirupadikam don't mistake it with atma brahman etc that upadi this is different <laughs> okay okay like he is given an example तत्र तत्र तथा एक आकाश से एक आकाश से घटादि उपाधि भेदन भेद देर इज वन स्पेस बट बिकॉज देर आर टेन पॉट्स इट लुक्स देर आर टेन डिफरेंट पॉट स्पेसेस सो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वन पॉट स्पेस एंड अनदर hey this is only 1 liter that is 10 liters this is 3 liters that pot space don't say pot pot space okay that beda is purely because of the upadi of the pot if the pot is not there where is the beda therefore the vyapti is there na wherever there is pot there is pot space if there is no pot there is no pot space space is there but no pot space getting it or not getting it yeah therefore so padikatvam what is the difference in space between 1 liter bottle that you have and the 2 liter bottle that is there what is the difference the pot space in the space what is the difference tell me now that's the beda so is the space being divided no exactly no. so there is an apparent division on the basis of the upadi what is the upadi the bottle ah. <laughs> the pot right. the pot becomes the upadi the space is does not have difference but it is called soopadika beda definitely you are not going to treat the 1 liter bottle with the 5 liter can are you capacity you mean capacity Cap- space We are looking at it as space. Okay. 
capacity. Yeah, yeah. Capacity is only to indicate that size of the thing. Because I don't have two pots here to show you. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like the space in this classroom and the next classroom. This classroom space and that classroom space. The difference is only because of the walls. Upadi. There is no real difference in space. Space is one. Similarly, he says, Yathava ekasya suryasya jalabhaj na bhede na bhedaha One sun reflected in ten different mirrors. One mirror, one shining silver plate, one bucket of water. Not three different. Each is different. Each reflection is different. The quality of the reflection is different. Why? Ekeva Surya Upadi Bhedena Bheda Iva Looks different. There is no Bheda, there only looks different. Okay? Now, a little bit more elaboration. Have you got these two examples clear or not clear? Now you will say, in the first example, the space is apparently enclosed by the pot. Correct? Gata avichinna akasha. In Sanskrit, we will put it as Gata avichinna akasha, where Gata is the avachedaka, the enclosing, apparent enclosement for the pot, I mean for the space. The pot is apparent enclosure for the space. Clear up to now in the use of words or not clear? Okay. When the sun is reflected in the various mediums, we will call it as a reflection, pratibimba. A reflection is called a pratibimba. Okay. Now, these two examples has been used with respect to the Atma as well. Okay. Like, you will say, the Atma manifest in the mind, conditioned by the mind. Apparently conditioned by the mind is the Jiva. So, like pot space and all-pervading space, individual Atma and all-pervading Atma. Sometimes we will say, Atma reflected in many minds, therefore many people. That's why you can know, because the consciousness is reflected in your mind, your mind is element, it can know. Two examples are used. So when academicians got involved in the study of Vedanta, they made it categorical. They called it Avacheda Vada and Pratibhimba Vada. So traditionalists use more Avacheda Vada, Vivarnaspo. Bhamati schools more, use more of Pratibhimba Vada. You will hear about all this if you read books on Vedanta. Most of my students don't read, so no problems. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Yeah, Sanskrit or the translation also you'll find it. Or if you attend some conferences or hear some conferences, you'll find these things coming up. Avicheda Vada. Oh, this is based on Avicheda Vada. This is based on Pratibhimba Vada. Nonsense. Kuch nahi hai. When you want to show, when you want to show the Atma is same in everyone, you will use avacheda, pot and space. Because space is same, no change in the space, no? No real division at all. No? There is only one Atma. Okay. 
okay when you want to show the differences or the limits in the manifested consciousness or in the ahankara the jiva the mithyatvam of the jiva if you want to show mithyatvam of the ahankara if you want to show you will use pratibhambavada pratibhambavada to show mithyatvam of ahankara is a reflection reflection of mithya look at the the pot space is not mithya the pot space is all pervading space but the sun reflected in the water is mithya it's only a reflection therefore that's ahankara to show nanatvam so when you want to show mithyatvam you will use this example mithyatvam of what ahankara not of the atma <laughs> वो भी अमित्या तो महामात्मा का मित्या बी कैफुल टू शो द मित्या तो मुझे अहंकारा यू विल यूज़ प्रतिबंब वादा टू शो वन्नेस ऑफ़ द होल थिंग यू विल यूज़ पॉट स्पेस एग्जांपल टू एग्जांपल्स आर यूज़ फॉर टू डिफरेंट थिंग इट इस इट इस द एकेडमिशंस देर एकेडमिशंस इन सैंस्क्रिट आल्स दैट्स द I'll be very happy if they take it out of the curriculum and colleges. Yeah, really. Even though I'm encouraging many of the junior teachers to get their doctorate, etc. <laughs> yeah, that's because it is there now. What can I do? We have to deal with it. The problem we have to deal with. Okay, put some traditional inputs into that. So because of that, these two examples were used, and they made vadas out of it. So whenever you hear the vada, take it easy. Don't take it too seriously. Okay? Two examples are used: old books, the older ones. Okay? Just use two examples. Two examples were used to indicate both. This was two paradigms used in teaching. It was not a vada. It is two paradigms used in teaching. When you want to highlight it, mithyatvam the hankara, pratibhimba. When you want to highlight the oneness of the atma, avachela. That's how it was. So Bhavati relies on pratibhimba vada. This relies. On So each teacher may favor one example over the other example. That's okay. What is your focus? The favoring of one example over the other will depend upon the focus of the teaching. There's no real favoring. Okay. Now sometimes, like Tapuvan Maharaj, Swami Chin Chinmayanji's Vidya Guru, some Puja Swamiji, Dhananji also knew him. So, Mr. Dhananji also knew him. He used to say that Prithibhamba is very good for meditations. He used to love to do meditation with using Prithibhamba. Why? Mithyatma of the Hankara becomes so clear. Yeah. So, no, no, but I like to focus on the one consciousness, our chela. Okay. That's your personal choice of what works for you. But the, it was used in these two manners. So, depending even on your nididhyasana, what do you want to highlight? Like I said in the Friday class, one there are steps to contemplation also. No? One, understand yourself, simple human being. Then, from simple human being to an awareful being, to sakshi, from sakshi to the consciousness. I want to go straight to consciousness, and here you are stuck in your role. Yeah, you are stuck in the role as a human being. I'm feeling lonely. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling that. I want to go to consciousness. <laughs> yeah, how will it work? How will it work? Yeah. You are stuck in your role as your mama. How will the consciousness thing work? First, human being, I don't know. <laughs> Are you getting the idea? Yeah, when you are stuck, so you will use what works for you. So don't take it as pratibhimba vada and avacheda vada and etc. 
take it this thing all right any questions on this or it's clear okay tatha cha ekasyeva brahmanah antakarna bedad bedah similarly for one atma because of antakarna there is apparent differences so many beings so many people because antakarna bedah upadikam therefore the beda in brahman is so upadikah beda in akasha so upadikah beda in surya again so upadikah <laughs> because example is different than mean the upadi so upadikah adhyasa bhashah ekachandra dvitiyavad tumbar if you are suffering from diplopia is a particular condition of the mind called diplopia of the eyes called diplopia where you will see always double and i am talking it because of a physical condition not because you were spiritual in the evening <laughs> that also happens okay that also happens that's a different thing <laughs> there is bending your elbow spirituality <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah so in, even they stick that also that also is what supadikam <laughs> supadikah beda because the upadi has what is gone inside <laughs> or the upadi has what is happening to your eyes <laughs> all these are supadikah bedas <laughs> yeah ek chandra dvi chandra hot as a result of an injury one of our cricketers old tech nari contractor <laughs> or even patowdi had this problem patowdi had this problem yeah he would see two bats and two balls then that's why he was a poor batter so why with the inside bat he has to hit the inside ball with the outside bat outside ball both he has to do why because you don't know which one is real <laughs> it's a big problem okay <laughs> the big issue but soopadi ka beda there is only one bat only one ball <laughs> so padi ka veda okay all right nirupadi ka veda yatha gata pata adi gata and pata pot and cloth what is the difference because of difference is because of because pot is pot and cloth is cloth a difference between this and my laptop book is book laptop is not this is nirupadika veda now don't say with respect to brahman we are talking about vyavahara kale okay vyavahara kale we are talking about the vedas yeah okay this is a bit of a tricky topic clear up to now no now yes if you are looking at it from the totality of brahman everything is sopadika veda all the nama rupa is sopadika what is the meaning of sopadika upadi sah vartate esa upadika that which exists ah uh, sa upadika yeah along with upadi is that exists upadi hai na that is we are talking about the final thing here when you are talking about gata pata etc we are talking about vyavahara and all pramanas are within vyavahara only you know yeah. yes vedanta as a pramana frees you from the vyavahara but you have to go through the vyavahara to get free ye madhyasam puraskritya sarve pramana prameya vyavahara ha again he wants to see whether i am speaking in english or sanskrit english hai baba <laughs> <laughs> this happens everywhere you know <laughs> do laptop wants to confirm english baat kar raha hai ki aur kya baat <laughs> when i break into a couple of hindi sentences it doesn't come when i break into sanskrit it definitely comes <laughs> because i don't think it is geared to recognize sanskrit <laughs> yeah anyway that's it so nirupadika baad veda is without when the uh, differences exist naturally between gata pata etc (coughs) 
even when you are dealing with the absolute reality remember for all practical purposes functional purposes you cannot ignore the functioning reality okay if you ignore the functioning reality you will end up in big issues you can ignore the functioning reality to an extent once you are rooted in the truth yeah. once you are rooted in the truth to a certain extent bhai bhikshe ke liye time par jana padta hai nahi to bhuka rehna padega yeah kshetra is a time here they can't they are not sitting all day waiting for the guys to come in fact rishikesh is common jo teeno kaal athi the us time se kya matlab hai तीनों काल तीन जो निरुपाधिक है तो भूख से क्या मतलब काउंटर आई है काउंटर फॉर एवरीथिंग निरुपाधिक है फिर भूख से क्या मतलब है टू डी टूडे इफ यू कैन से हाँ नो प्रॉब्लम नो इश्यूज यू कैन अफोर्ड टू इग्नोर इट हाउ मेनी डेज एक दो दिन चलेगा <laughs> Yeah. That government is a beautiful light person because you know. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Devo, yeah. Devo, when you are a student, never ignore what is functional. But at the same time, don't give it absolute reality. Say this is only for this much only. Functional, yeah. Because I've seen people making idiotic mistakes. Yeah. in fact many of us our middle class parents did this they never taught us how to respect money na they were all finance wanted money all of them wanted money but they never taught us respect for money all of them wanted money because hey all of them are struggling <laughs> all middle class people all are struggling I have taught respect for money. Why? This be a spiritual money exercise. I was also a product of that until I heard the Taitriya verses. Hey, the Rishi is praying for wealth. Lakshmi, yeah? even the Rishi is praying for it. Why? I have to do dharma karya. You need money. Uh, 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 different. They will do Lakshmi puja on Diwali, but they will still not respect money. Unfortunate. This is ignoring vyavahara. the realities of vyavahara because you think you are spiritual fir sadhu ban jao na then you can ignore a lot of things but people are not like that yeah mohan did you want to ask anything no okay so this is where everything yeah yeah kartik Please elaborate on um, when you say ignore money versus respect for money. I am not able to still understand the. Nuance. See, we are all told money is bad. Money is evil. Too much of money creates problems, <laughs> which is not true. <laughs> If at all money creates a problem, it's not the money. It's the greed for the money that creates the problem. It is the abuse of money that creates the problem. Money per se is just something you get done. Yeah. That's it. You use money to get things done, or what? Big deal. You have an objective value for it. Therefore, that respect has to be there. Uh, without respecting money, how do you expect to make money? Yeah. If you don't respect her, Lakshmi will walk away from you. <laughs> Because like, money is meant to circulate. Money is like blood; it is meant to circulate. <laughs> that's why many of our we got stuck in the middle class society because of that middle class living middle class this thing got stuck they we never came out of it because the creation of wealth which is part of vyavahara was not respected whereas if you look at heritage india was always a rich country yeah before the british came 60% of the world gdp was india <laughs> i 
and after 200 years of looting, in 75 years, in spite of the first 50 years of socialistic policies, we have overtaken Britain. <laughs> In fact, respect for money, I have found only in business communities. I remember a case where a group of friends were sitting down and I am watching the game. It was in a friend's house. It was in rural India. So, they said, no, no, you are lying on this. Give me a word, what you are saying is true. Uh -huh. What I'm saying is true. So the guy pulled out a hundred rupee note. Isko par kasam ka. Swear on this that what you're saying is true. No, 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 no. <laughs> Whether Gita Kopar you would have sown or not, I don't know. <laughs> but not money. <laughs> anyway, that apart. So those Vyavaharic principles are important, you know, yeah. Spirituality doesn't mean you ignore Vyavahara. Spirituality means you handle Vyavahara. Kaushalatvam should come in. Karma so Kaushalatvam. So that will not demand so much of your time and effort. <laughs> yeah, you manage your money. <laughs> yeah. That is sensible, that is smart. Yeah. And of course, if you can do with nothing, be a monk, okay, be a monk, that's okay, that's fine. Yeah. I'm not saying everyone should become millionaires, that's not my idea, but the idea is, Sai itna dijiye, jisse sukh safai. This is a prayer, common for everyone. Kabir, Sai, O Lord, give me enough, where I can live comfortably. I'm sure Mukesh Ambani says the same thing, where I can live comfortably. <laughs> I mean, he spends a few crores every day. But that's what is comfort for him. Kabir's comfort was different. Ham to bhuka na rahe, sadhu bhi bhuka na jai. I don't go hungry, and the person who comes to my door for arms, he also will not go hungry. That's all I want. So each person decides. You can't say, this is wrong, that is wrong. What a waste. I see post like, what a waste of money. The wedding, pre-wedding celebrations. Thousand crores I spent. A middle class person who has a small house and has got about five crores in the bank will not hesitate in spending 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs on his or son's or daughter's wedding. 10, 20 lakhs is common nowadays. Isn't it? Now, how much is 20 lakhs out of 5 crores? What percentage? 10 percent? 4 percent. 4 percent. What is Mukesh Ambani's net worth? Has he spent 4 percent of it? He has not even spent 0.1 percent. He has spent 0.1 percent of it. <laughs> Who is spending more? Who is spending more? I'm giving you a different perspective of things. Yeah. How many thousands of people are getting employment? How many thousands of people have made their money out of it? Forgetting that. And the lazy person exercising public relations, they do business deeds. Yeah. Exactly. Why do you think he got all the CEOs this evening? For enjoying Najgana <laughs> For Najgana, he got all the film actors and actresses and all. Chalo, jara Najgana entered and go. We will discuss serious things here when you are doing that. That's a distraction of the public. This is serious. <laughs> yeah. What I'm trying to say is develop your objectivity. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So, have a sense of perspective in everything. We all say we wouldn't spend that much, but we are spending percentage-wise, we are spending. Yeah. 
percentage means we are spending. Who said we are not spending? We are spending more. <laughs> Yeah, isn't it true? Yeah. We are spending much more when it comes to percentages. Yeah. In absolute terms, of course, he is spending more. No doubt about it. Yeah. But if you can justify your spending, he can justify that. Now go have a register wedding. That's it. Two witnesses and both and go register a wedding and say, now I am not. Then I have the right to criticize. <laughs> But even if you are having an Arya Samaj wedding, you don't have a right to criticize because he is spending there. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the res respect for Vyavahara yeah. is necessary. At the same time, to see Mithyatva of the whole thing. So both are important. Both are important. If you can't walk this tightrope here, you don't get Vedanta, okay? Vyavahara respected, this should be respected, both. Yeah. Because all our lives are in Vyavahara. Yeah. But at the same time, don't be too blinkers on and conditioned by Vyavahara. Don't be rule bound. Work on the basis of principles rather than rules. The different, big difference between working on the basis of principles and rules. It is from the principles rules emerge. Like, let me take a little complex thing. Insider trading is wrong in all countries. Finance, insider trading is wrong in all countries. Why? What is the principle behind it? What is the principle behind it? Exactly, fair play. Level playing ground, this is not there, it's not fair play because he's got information which is not available to anybody else. Can you see, the rules come from principles. Learn this, the function of the level of principle. It takes a little bit more time. But dharma is all about principles, it's not about rules. Legality is in the form of rules, which also you need to know because you can't do something illegal in the name of dharma. <laughs> My work contributes to a nation, so taxation is unfair, I will not... <laughs> Everyone would love to say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. <laughs> yeah. no. Okay. So, Nirupadika Bheda, okay? Gatapatavi. Hey, and you understood the difference in terms of Avicheda and Pratibhamba. Okay. Swamiji? Yeah? I just wanted to uh, understand. So, when we say Nirupadika Bheda, mm. uh, how, how would it be any different from Anyotra Abhava? It is not. We are, we are describing Anyonya Bhava only. Okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, okay. This, is this is a section about explaining Anyonya Bhava from two standpoints. Two standpoints. Okay, thank See, you. See, four Vedas. Okay? Prag, Pradhvamsa, Atyanta and Anyonya Bhava. So, in Anyonya Bhava, you are making a difference. Twofold. You are further subcategorizing it. Okay? Yeah. That Anyonya Bhava can be Sopadikam or Nirupadikam. Sopadikam is Gatavichinna, Akasha or Surya Pratibhimbaha. That is Sopadikam. Nirupadikam is what is naturally there, Anyanaya Bhava, Gatapata, Ektiyadi. Sure, thank you. Yeah, what is natural, yeah. This is Nacha Brahmanyapi Prapacha Bheda Abhyugame Advaita Viroda. He says, if you are taking Prapancha as distinct from Brahman, if you use the theory of reflection, okay, Advaita Viroda, Tatvika Bheda Anubhugame Na Vyadadivat Advaita Vyaghata Katva. He says, no, not really. Why? Because like how Tatvika Bheda Anubhya Bhigavena. 
we are not accepting any real difference. We are accepting only apparent differences. So, where is the problem? Okay. Viyadi adivad advete abhyadadagatta. What? Like how space is not divided, even though it looks divided, vyavahara yogyam. See, one thing is pot space or room space, classroom space. Is vyavahara yogyatvam is there. But we are not accepting a difference. Yeah, we are saying there is only one space. So, Bhatika Veda. So, even between Brahman and Prapancha, the Veda is so Bhatika only. So, Bhatika Veda. In fact, there, that's why we use reflection example. Why? Mithyatvam is clear about the Prapancha. What is reflected is Mithya. So, Prapancha see Mithyatvam is clearer with that example. That's why we are using that. It says, Prapancha se Advaite Brahmani. Kalpititva Angikara. Because in our stand, remember we have to talk in terms of stand because we are arguing against another standpoint. Therefore, you have to say your stand, my stand. Otherwise, there is no stand. This is the point. <laughs> Everything else is a standpoint. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It says, we are accepting that all Dvaita is Kalpikam. All Dvaita is Kalpana, conceptual. There is no real duality. We have to go to the fundamental level. So, in between, we make some Vyavahara difference, etc., to help our functioning. That is all. Or kuch difference nahi hai. Okay. Tad uttam Sureshwara Acharya hi. Now, he is quoting Sureshwara Acharya. Okay. This we will see. This is from Naishkar Masidhi, I think. There is a quotation from... Huh? Vartika. This is from the Vartika. Okay. No, then we won't see that. <laughs> because the Vartika we are not going to see now. Akshama bhavata keyam sadhakatva prakalpane kim na pashyami samsaram tatreva jnana kalpitam. Akshama bhavata keyam. Okay. Why are you. Okay. says, why are you having this problem when a sadhakatva, a sadhaka makes this sadhakatva kalpana, to, for the sake of understanding you are making a kalpana, that Brahman because of maya, upadi, etc, 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 appears. Oh, you are postulating maya, then maya is different from Brahman. Why all that? Why? Kim na pashyasi, are you not seeing? Samsaram tatreva ajnana kalpitam. <laughs> the whole samsara is ajnana kalpitam. Therefore, we are making a kalpana of ajnana only to explain away what you are seeing. For us, there is only ekam eva dvitiyam brahman. So, since when did a kalpika bheda, kalpanika bheda create a real bheda? An imagined bheda, a conceived bheda, a conceptual bheda. When did it make a real bheda? You looked at the cloth and called it kurta. Where did you make a real Veda in the cloth? Best is dhoti. Cloth is dhoti. Dhoti or cloth make a Veda. It is unstitched. There is no stitching in it. Just because I am cutting it and wearing it around my waist, you call it Veda. Veda is not here. So, everything is kalpinikam, he says. Therefore, there is no real. Just because we accept some sopadika veda, nirupadika veda, etc., doesn't mean that veda is real. Vyavahara kale eva. So, you take vyavahara seriously, naturally. I get the hey, Take that pot and get some water. Yeah. Pot and clay is one and the same. It takes a lump of clay and tries to get water. Kaisa ho jayega? <laughs> the clay is not in his hand. Either. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Functional realities you give into it. That's it. You accept functional realities without taking it too seriously. Yeah. Otherwise, it'll be like that song, functional reality. Man is complaining. There's a hole in the bucket. 
I can't fill water. She says, seal the... With what? With some clay. But the clay is dry. Okay. So mix it with some water. How do I get the water? With a bucket. But there's a hole in the bucket. <laughs> It's a long song, I cut it short, okay? There are some 10 steps to this song. <laughs> Very popular song, there's a hole in a bucket. And you should see the man saying it, but some glee at the 10th step, but there's a hole in the bucket. <laughs> it's an excuse not to do anything. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Vyavahara Yogitvam, you pay attention to. At the same time, See that Vyavahara Yoga is also Mithya. This is the step that Vedantins need to take. Validity of Vyavahara Yogitvam. At the same time, Mithyatvam. For too much of time, Mithyatvam has become rope snake. There is a validity of that rope snake example to explain certain things. But that's why if you see more traditional examples are all pot and clay and things like that. Yeah. It's only that rope snake or shell and silver is used only to establish the anirvachini yatvam. Only to establish, understand where the examples are being used. Examples of rope snake, shell and silver etc. are used to establish anirvachini yatvam. Anirvachaniyatvam of the imposed one. It's easier to understand Anirvachaniyam, no? that there's a projection, etc. Easier to understand. But Vyavahariko Yogitam also is a mithya, pot clay. You mean to say the pot is not Anirvachaniyam? Now that you have come to this level of understanding, can you say the pot is not Anirvachaniyam? Satasadvyam Anirvachaniyam. Can you say pot is not that? Huh? You, can't you, can't, you can't say it is not a nirvachaniyam. Correct. It is a nirvachaniyam, no? Because pot is not real as clay. But pot is not non-existent also. It is there. The existence of the pot depends on the existence of the clay. Therefore, pot can be a nirvachaniyam. Then what is the difference between pot and clay and snake and rope? Vyavahara Yogitam is not there, but in snake also there is a minimalistic amount of Vyavahara. You jumped, you reached out for a stick, you walked away, took the other road. Uh, 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 all that means what? <laughs> all that means what? <laughs> it influences your Vyavahara up to a point. Na? If I go into your mind, all your subjectivity is influencing your vyavara or not? Pratibhagasika reality is influencing your vyavaharikam. Even if you don't know it, if you don't know it, then influencing more. That's not how I'm saying. I'm feeling sad. No one to talk to also. Rath hold. 10 o'clock in the night, whom will I call up? Feeling sad. What do you do? Go to the fridge and open. Kya hai? <laughs> You're feeling bored. <laughs> bored the meeting, hai na? In fact, in the flying Rani, Bombay to Surat, they'll bring, selling peanuts, good quality peanuts, very good quality. But what, they don't say, Mungfali, Mungfali, Mungfali. Time pass, time pass, time pass. <laughs> Board <of> meeting, <laughs> subjectivity influencing, Vyavahara. <laughs> then you say, why am I putting on weight? Talking about simple things that everyone does. I'm not talking about because you're lonely, you went and hit the bottle. That is, Small percentage. 
but that's also part of that feeling lonely <laughs> feeling alone you scroll down na yeah and other loneliness is really going to go away this lady you may know she got a call from our boss midweek are you feeling alone lonely said yeah i do feel that don't stay at home come to work from office <laughs> don't work from home come <laughs> point hai <laughs> there is a point in it <laughs> the problem becomes if you have to do it every day <laughs> but two three times a week it is fine na <laughs> vyavahara subjectivity and vyavahara that's what i'm trying to make the connect and all these different example has to make the connect your pratibhasika influence your vyavaharika vyavaharika actually influence your pratibhasika can't avoid this because both are mithya there is a very one thin line between the both being mithya therefore you have to recognize what is what when i am dealing with a pratibhasika issue either my loneliness or some trauma etc that i have undergone all that is in the field of vyavahara na yeah all that is in the field of vyavahara. i have to deal with it vyavaharically the pratibhasika was caused by something even that rope snake the snake was caused by improper vision i need a vyavaharika torch that light to take care of it <laughs> why because the snake even though pratibhasika appears in the vyavaharika <laughs> it influences a very thin line between the two and it's a fluid line it crosses over impinges on each other very often that's why i said as a student of vedanta deal with the vyavaharika deal with the pratibhasika because many of the students think they are coming to vedanta they don't have to deal with emotional issues and that's what prevent their understanding yeah i have people refusing to deal with certain emotional issues saying it's so long back what i know that's what is blocking their understanding Yeah, I know one lady who could have been a wise person 20 years ago. I'm telling you, she's that good, but not dealt with one issue and therefore blocking. Yeah, I've been on the same level as Commodore Sahaya and all that. That level of understanding, but one block, yeah, yeah, struggling with it because of that. So, Pratibhasika issues, you have to deal in the Vyavaharika world. you can't think just because i am exposed to vedanta it will disappear because vedanta is for an adhikari adhikari to means dealing with the samadama etc the samadama is pratibhasika issues you are dealing with mind yeah hurt pain guilt etc is all here loneliness etc is here existential issues are here on the functional level you have to deal with it See, once I know the truth, I will not be lonely. So I'll, I'll know the truth. Correct. You are right. Dead right. Once you know the truth, you are not lonely. Until you know the truth, you will take five years, ten years, or whatever. No. Then what will happen? Become lonely. I mean, I'll put up with loneliness. Or what? Then the teaching, your everything is filtered through your loneliness. How much of it will work? you have to manage your loneliness friends partner whatever whatever you need to do manage it yeah yeah get married pick up a romantic interest pick up friends pick up this join a club join do what you need to do managing that's all managing loneliness of course managing loneliness some managements work some don't work that's okay see what works my child is in state he should come and stay with me feasible something that can work <laughs> guys in state you are in bombay abhi kya karega your son is in state he should come and stay with me because i am feeling lonely is your problem you deal with it not the son's problem huh? 
Because if he comes here also, he will feel lonely. Why? Because here people work longer hours. There, by 6 o'clock, they leave the office and go. Here, 6 o'clock work starts. <laughs> A new project you take on. <laughs> new clients you meet, correct? <laughs> you will still be lonely. <laughs> Yavaharika Sattva, do what is necessary to this thing. Okay? <laughs> Therefore, the whole world is Kalpana Kamisis. Whether it is Vyavahara Yogyam or Pratibhasikam, everything is Kalpanikam. Yeah. I am digressing sometimes here and there, but the digressing is from this point, okay? <laughs> Kalpanikam. Okay? The Atha Eva, because of this, Vivarne. What is Vivarna? A sub-commentary on Brahma Sutra Bhashya. Okay, Vivarna. Avidya Anumani. Okay, we are trying to infer Avidya. Okay. Alright. Prag Abhava Vyatirakta Visheshanam. Alright. There, it comes from, this is from Naishkarana Siddhi. We have seen this. We will see it again. Naishkarana Siddhi, we will see in this class. I think people here are ready to go into that. Thoda khyati karne ka hai. Even though people are not gone into Brahma Sutra, Naishkarana Siddhi you can still manage. Okay? And either Swamini or I will be doing Brahma Sutras. Those who are not got Brahma Sutras, attend that. You know? Yeah. Okay. Atharvaya avidya anumani. Okay. He says, he is presenting avidya as jagat karnatma. That's how the anumana goes. So, in the division, in the definition, he says, parag abhava vyatirikta. Why? Because before the creation was there, there was prag abhava of the creation, otherwise you can't say the creation. If there is prag abhava, then is the prag abhava the cause for the creation? It's immediately preceding the creation. <laughs> Correct? <laughs> Nothing can immediately precede the creation as the abhava of the creation. No? <laughs> as the prag abhava of the creation. But he puts a visheshanam there defining avidya that prag abhava vetirikta. Other than prag abhava, what is responsible for the creation, what exists before and responsible for the creation is avidya, ajnanam, maya shakti, etc. He says that. Therefore, he says, this is one. Because he is showing how all previous writers accepted avidya as kinchit bhava masti, enough to cause the world, but at the same time not enough to call it as real. Tattva pradikayam. That is going to tattva pradikayam. Okay? Kayam. <laughs> Avidya lakshane bhavatvam visheshnam cha sangachate. Yeah. There also he has said that there is a bhavatvam there. Kinchit bhavam asti avidyaya. Okay. Why all this uh, is talked so much? Because as far as your functioning world is concerned, in your normal understanding of avidya is concerned, you will take it as jnana abhava. Avidya will be taken as abhava, absence of knowledge. I don't know. I don't know physics. Therefore, I'm studying physics and I'll know it. I don't know Sanskrit. I study Sanskrit, I'll know it. So, it is always about gaining knowledge. Why? Because our idea is avidya is abhava. But you will understand avidya has got some bhava if you look at a teenager mugging up for the exams, without the avidya going, the information is superimposed on the avidya <laughs> further. <laughs> clear, clear mugging. Avidya is not gone. <laughs> Convection, conduction, conduction. Have you really understood that? I'll give you a question. You can keep your books open and answer. But unless your avidya has gone, you will not be able to answer that question. <laughs> I told you some of that questions. 
pot of hot water and a block of ice which will cool the which method will cool the hot water faster keep the pot, uh, pot of water on top of the ice or keep the ice on top of the pot <laughs> you can't put the ice into the pot <laughs> which will cool it unless you understand convection conduction radiation etc you will not be able to answer this question why because it involves an ignorance going <laughs> By the way, those who are having a doubt, it is ice on top of the pot. Why? You figure out. <laughs> Especially those who are not exposed to science, thought of figuring out karo. And hint for figuring it out is, why is the heat always from the bottom of the pot? <laughs> on your stove, etc. If you, you think on these lines, you will get the answer very easily. <laughs> Avidya has to go. Kinchit bhava masti. <laughs> Yeah, even in this example like this, forget all Abhid, uh, Jagat Karnam, etc. Take day to day examples, you can say Kinchat Bhava Masi. Therefore, traditionally, we don't look at Avidya as a Bhava of Jnanam, we look at it as Jnana Virodhi, opposite of knowledge. Opposite. Jnana Virodhi. There's a big discussion with Holy Narasapur school on this. I think I have some of that discussion in some printed pages. I'll have to find it out. My, some of the papers are in a big box. I'll really look into it. Yeah. And if I find it, I will share it with you all. I had shared it in that South Bombay class. Do you have the papers with you? Just check if you have the papers. Kamini and all should be having those papers. I had given it out when we were doing Naishkarma Siddhi in that class. I had given out those papers. So Kamini, Nita and all should be having those papers. You are there. You know? Yeah. The whole discussion on Abhava, Abhava, a nice debate had happened on this. That debate he didn't allow to happen, remember? Or in that conference. Nagaraj. <laughs> Whatever, he didn't want to question that. <laughs> Typical academician, don't want resolution. Want to keep the questions going. Why more PhDs can come out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, I think I am Bhavatva Visheshnam Cha Sangachate. Therefore, Bhavatva Visheshnam. Why? That avidya of the rope was enough to project a snake. Avidya of yourself is enough to project an ahankara. Ahankara is purely conceptual, no? but it is projected by your ignorance of the Atma. Ignorance of Brahman is enough, Maya Shakti. To project all yours. Ignorance for you and me, not for Brahman, okay? <laughs> not for Ishwara. <laughs> so it's enough. Therefore, Bhavatva Sangachi. Evam Chatur Vidhanam Bhavanam Yoka Anupalabdhya Pratiti. Therefore, all these four Abhavas are, have Yogita for Pratiti, for your perception. Tatra Anupalabdhi Mananantaram. Therefore, Anupalabdhi becomes an independent pramana by itself. It has got the status of an independent pramana. Clear up to now? The whole thing. There is a more interesting part of the. Yeah. Maybe. Before I go into that, I should make some people to make a presentation of it also. <laughs> On six pramanas. <laughs> or write an email to me. I hardly open up my email. But whatever. <laughs> anyway, we'll see. We'll see about it. Because how well you have understood it, this matters, you know. Yeah. Anyway, after this, in this section, there's only one thing left. That is the validity of a pramana. How valid is a pramana? How valid is the knowledge that you have gained? It becomes important for both atma jnanam as well as worldly knowledge. Okay? How valid is what I know? Okay? Vyavahara yogitva. In Vyavahara, we will take it as for the time being. Because 
in sciences everything is taken keep on changing no? nothing is permanent keep changing all the time so that's the whole nature of science yeah. but is it valid for the time being so is it is the pramanitvam intrinsic or extrinsic okay inherent in the knowledge itself or it has to be proved by some outside reasoning etc 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 but that is a elaborate topic we will go in next class okay good place to stop om tat sat